Hello, Internet. I'm Random Meow, and today I am excited to open up the Pikachu and Eevee Pokeball Collection. This is a companion product to the latest video game release, Pokemon Let's Go for the Switch, which looks gorgeous. Inside this surprisingly cute box is one figure of Eevee and Pikachu playing together. Even in 3D, Eevee's head is kind of weird looking. We also get two holo promo cards of Eevee and Pikachu, both sporting some pretty adorable art. There's a giant Pokeball that also acts as a deck box. While this looks fantastic as far as Pokeball products go, the execution is very weak as far as deck boxes go. There's no hinge nor locking mechanism, and it relies entirely on friction and four little plastic posts to keep things closed. Which can be very problematic if you're trying to store your deck inside. While I was trying to open it to get the card packs inside, I managed to fling all of them on the floor like the worst game of 52 pickup. It might look very nice on a shelf, but I would definitely not use it for holding anything of value. Lastly, you get five booster packs, one Steam Siege, one Burning Shadows, one Celestial Storm, and two Lost Thunder. I think the worst part about the Pokeball is that it managed to crush every single one of the packs. I really hope that nothing was damaged inside, but we're just gonna have to see. I'll be going newest to oldest as you see here. I've got my sleeves at the ready. Let's start things off with Lugia and Lost Thunder. Pack number one, Lugia! Oh man. Eh. Open. Open please. Excellent. Nope. Just kidding. Oh, it ripped down the front. I'm so sad. Come on. Nothing wants to cooperate lately. Eh. Boop. Code. Cyndaquil. Alright. That's pretty adorable already. Let's lock in the focus. Excellent. Cyndaquil. So cute. I hope you got a lot of shiny Cyndaquils on Community Day if you were playing Pogo. So adorable. Pineco. Ooh. Combi. Litleo. Cutiefly. Reverse Hollow Lampant. It's kind of dark. Let's, let's fix that. Excellent. Lampant. Oh, something cool. Something shiny. Genesec doesn't want to be my friend. It's Genesec GX! Oh, cool! Ooh, I like the uh, weather effect in the background. Neat! Oh, man. Put that down slightly more gently than flinging it. Good job, me. Fire-type energy. Pincer? Memory energy? Interesting. That's kind of cool. And a Kecleon. Despite the rough start, Genesect is protected. Ooh. Oh, I love that foiling. So pretty. Pack number two. It's Zeraora, the new kitty. Boop, boop. Mm -hmm. No. Dude. The scrunching has made it even harder to open. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Code. Starting it off with an onyx and a million diglet. I love that one. I love that card. Ralts! Oh wait, that one's really cute, we haven't seen that. It's uh, one of the figure ones. Neat. More cute Cyndaquil. More Pineco. Combi. Reverse Hello Pseudo Wudo, seducing you gently. <laughs> okay then. It's a Lolan Persian who's breaking his back to attack you. What the crap is that? Green energy. Lost Blender. That's a weird blender. Custom Catcher. And a hip on top. A little Persian in all of its wonky glory is protected. Pack number three. It's Jirachi and Celestial Storm. This set has not treated us well in the past, so hopefully we get something a little bit better than wonky Alolan Persian. Or Beedrill. Why? Why you do this? Oh, man. <clears throat> So far, I haven't seen any, like, intense scratching or denting on the cards, but these are a pain to open up. Starting it off with a bull toy. Beldum. Lotad. What the heck is going on with this face? Sea Dot. Skitty. Reverse Hollow Cacnea. Honey. Interesting. I don't think we have this one. It's a non hollow Registeel. Coming to grab you. Creepy. Electric Energy. Vigoroth. What the fly? 
Oh no, there's a bug in my studio. Shoot, 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 shoot. Try it again. Finger off! <laughs> nice leaf. And a friend ball. Non hollow registeel is protected. Act number four it's Necrozma and Burning Shadows. Didn't really expect this to be inside of here, but. I wonder if they uh, didn't sell a whole lot of them. As we can tell by Steam Siege, that happens. That happens a lot. Alright, gold. Starting things off with a cutie Noibat. Stuffle! Mudbray. Dynamo. Oddish. Reverse Hollow Rat. Wonk. Oh no, it's a bunch of cats! It's a regular Persian. Why? <laughs> Fire type energy. Eat more. Curlia. Cute. And a Simisage. The totally out of place regular Persian is protected. I don't understand. We just opened a Sun and Moon pack. Why wouldn't they have the Alolan cat version? Weird. Pack number five. It's Steam Siege, which has nothing to do with the current sets. I'm guessing they just had too many of them. As you do. Eh. Open. Ah, excellent. I don't really mind Steam Siege, though. We have a few missing, but I think it's probably my most complete regular set. So hopefully we get something new. But Joltik is not one of those. Mantine, got a ton of those. Clink! Bonita! Fire Hazard Bonita, one of my favorites. Ponyard. Hey, We did get something new! It's B-Sharp! It's a dark metal half and half. That is so cool! It's like a big metal Oreo, I love it. Beautiful. Ooh, we got a second rare. Toxicroak. I don't think we have that either. This is a good set. Oh, I got too excited and I smacked the camera. My bad. Fluffy. Steelix Spirit Link. Oh, I don't think we have this either. And a shield on. B Sharp and Toxicroak are both protected. I really love that the B Sharp is a reverse hollow, so it actually has the different background, but for both dark and metal type. That is super cool. I really like how that looks. And Toxicroak, it's pretty cool. It's a very nice action shot, but it's not holographic, so. Okay, we got two different Persians. That's not great. However, we did also get a fancy new Genesect GX and a super cool Bisharp, which is awesome. All in all, not too shabby. And now it's time for the bonus pack. Let's check out the actual game, Let's Go Eevee. But before we do, I really want to show off the insert. I know it's just another map of Kanto, but they added an extra bit of detail. Boop. Focus. There we go. They put in the Pokemon, usually in the place where you can find them. That's gorgeous. I absolutely love how this came out. I would totally consider a poster of this because it's got everything. It's even got like Snorlax being a fat bastard right there. You've got the forest, you've got the safari zone, everything is wonderful. I absolutely love how they did this, and I, I'm worried that people would just gloss over this. So, here I am, chatting excitedly about it. Neat! It's Pokemon Let's Go with Eevee! We've wanted a big screen Pokemon game for ages, and now we finally have it! Kinda. From the brief amount I've played, Let's Go is essentially a sort of Pokemon Red and Blue Express. You don't bother with the rock, paper, scissors of picking a starter, you're just given whatever version you purchased. You immediately start off with a ton of Pokeballs because you're going to need every single one of them. There's no bludgeoning or battling Pokemon until they submit to your will like a traditional game, but instead requires a throwing mechanic similar to Pokemon Go. I'd even say it's harder than Pokemon Go because there's no real tactile feedback. You're just flicking your controller and hoping you're holding it correctly. You're also offered a number of luxuries you don't typically see right off the bat, if at all, such as naming and renaming your Pokemon on the fly, accessing your box wherever you are, and experience share from the start, which is wonderful. If you bought the handy Pokeball controller for your game, you also get the benefit of breaking your game right off the bat. I took my Eevee out for a little walk and leveled it to 17 before even seeing Viridian Forest. Good job, me.
One last thing that makes the game dramatically different is the overworld. You're allowed to see what's lurking in the grass, similar to some RPGs like Button Kaitos. Yes, I'm old. Don't judge me. This new feature allows you to avoid those pesky rats and makes chain catching substantially easier. No more sparkly grass, no more hoping there isn't something behind your big-headed sprite, just quick and easy chain catches. Shiny hunters must be enthralled by this. Chain catching also allows you to have a chance for more experience points for everyone, which is a nice touch. All in all, I'd say Pokemon Let's Go feels more like a solid introduction to the Pokemon series, but has way too much opportunity for the player to become overpowered very quickly. I hope the next game that comes out in a couple of years or so has a bit more resistance, while still maintaining the welcome quality of life improvements in Let's Go. I'm still likely to rack up a couple hundred hours though, mostly because of this. Next week, I should have things back to normal, but who knows? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have yourself a wonderful week. Bye! Ever. Ever. Ever.